morning guys I gotta hurry up and do this <laughs> um, sorry a lot of competition it's Friday morning it's garbage day for us um, and we are in the city so they're right outside the garden so just thought I'd give you a good quick garden tour today um, so let's get on it right over here in this section where those two areas are empty we had some volunteer potatoes and I harvested those and just out of volunteer potatoes I got three dinners worth for my husband and I um, this right here is a summer squash and I have I'm trellising that and it's beautiful these are two male flowers and right here you can see that squash coming on and this will be a female flower so you can take this male flower down here as soon as because I don't have a lot of pollinators I like to do this I take the the middle right here and just rub that all over the female flower and voila we got some squash now this is sad here this is vine borer problem and how I know that is down by the base of my stem is stressed and then there was a few holes in some of the leaves I already cut off but as I was cutting them off I thought I'd show you guys what vine borer looks like when it hits your plant I am not going to uproot the plant because it doesn't look too bad at the base um, I'm going to go ahead and leave that alone um, so anyways we'll see what happens with that now this is pumpkin right here and so far we just have male flowers it looks like I don't see any pumpkin yet um, so we'll do the same with that that it right there is our rhubarb this is how much our, our tomatoes have grown and they're just wonderful and they're starting to put on um, and they're just absolutely huge flowers on these things so I'm expecting to see some big tomatoes out of this so these are the ones I started from seed just fantastic how big they got um, you can go back and look at the tips and tricks for starting tomatoes from seed um, I'll be sharing that again next year though um, so and then we have this squash here also putting on some uh, let's see here so we have a male plant here I can show you how I do this because we have a female open right here now this is what our male plant looks like our male flower and that right there is what your female flower looks like so what I do is I take my male flower and I just rip off that part I'm going to bring you over here so you can see what I'm doing a little better there we go and I'm just going to take this part and rub it all over that female part and that will fertilize that summer squash. Let's see this one. That's another male. So there we go. We have a couple other females that we have a couple other females that will be opening soon. So I'll be doing that again. And then looks like Thomas wants my flowers. So so that's what's going on with that. Beautiful. I'm glad I got the opportunity to share that with you guys. This this is my my tomatoes. I started from seed here as well. Uh, Cherokee purple tomatoes. Their stems are act absolutely huge. Got to remember to take those suckers off because I want big tomatoes. And then here we have our um, poblamo peppers coming on right there 
Here's our poblamo peppers. And our sunflowers are dying off. That's what happens to them when they get the seed heads. You can see in there. And then this one over here. So if all of a sudden your flowers start dying off, it's because they've, they've created this seed head. You can see all those sunflowers and are those seeds in there. And you can grill those up. This is my peppers over here. Another Cherokee purple back there. Potatoes. These potatoes I'll be starting to harvest next week. Um, getting some yellow leaves. When they are yellow and bent over, we will go ahead and harvest those. My um, celery, my celery, not my celery, my lettuce. So all these beer cans in here, guys, are for slugs. <laughs> um, the slugs take a swim and then they're gone. So over here we have lettuce coming up. I hope it doesn't bolt uh, this with this hot weather coming on. And if I'm well, we'll plant again. Here's some cucumber. All my other tomato plants, they're almost to the top of my trellis now there, as you can see. Um, beautiful plant right here that I planted. Tracked some hummingbirds um, and some bees. There's our onions right there. They're starting to get some size on them, which is exciting because this, this was totally devastated. We've got um, another tomato plant there. That should be a bigger tomato. Um, got a couple, oh, this is cucumber. It's really starting to grow. That, we'll see how well it does. I don't know if we're gonna have a long enough summer the sea sponge kind of stuff. They call it sea sponge, but it doesn't come from the sea. This is dill right here. It's starting to flower. Um, so mint. Rosemary right there. And right back there we have basil. Got a little baby jalapeno coming on there. Lettuce there, cucumbers and potatoes. Um, we got tomatoes coming on here. Those are probably going to be sun gold tomatoes. And then over here, this, this tomato plant's finally starting to take off. Um, I think that's a Cherokee purple as well. And then these tomato plants, these two here, which I think are both sun golds. I don't, I'm not sure. They're taking off like crazy though. So, got a nice sucker right here. Get that sucker out of there because I want healthy tomatoes. There's another sucker right here. So you can see we're putting on tomatoes there as well. And then this is a mess of garlic and potatoes, which go great together. So um, the garlic has slowed down, so I don't I don't mean it, they physically go great great together in planting, but because the garlic has slowed down since these um, and they're starting to get flower heads on them, so they should be hitting it soon and putting a lot, on a lot of tubers. Got more potatoes over here that are putting on flower heads as well and then we've got zucchini I take out this mushroom you can leave the mushroom in your garden that just means you have healthy soil um, but nothing over here is taken because um, they haven't been I need to thin this out basically because the bees aren't getting it to to it to um, um, see that this one right here is probably not going to take um, so I need to thin that out so the bees can get in there and pollinate those for me. Um, these over here, this zucchini over here is, let's see what we got going on here. That's a male flower and a male flower, all male flowers that happens where the male flowers seem to come on first and then the female flowers come on later. And so the sad thing about that is, that's why I do what I do, is I go ahead and get those male flowers and just 
take care of uh, the pollination for them. So, um, that is the garden tour, guys. So, we're just starting to get warm here. This is like the first um, major week where we've gotten warm. So, that's exciting. So, the all the cucumbers and stuff and tomatoes are starting to take off. It's going to be a little too warm now. So we're going the opposite extreme. Last couple weeks before this, we um, were way too warm, um, or way too cool. And now we're getting way too warm. So hopefully those nights of in between we can get some nice growth on. And I got to tie up some tomatoes and water. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I appreciate you coming along with me today and seeing my garden tour uh, for more tips and tricks. Please hit that subscribe button and and like. Give me a like if you like what you see um, as well. And uh, you guys have a wonderful day. And as always, God bless. I'm going to get to water.